So we're here with the legendary Karen Parsons. Obviously, most people know her as a classic, classic character from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Hillary, Hillary Banks. Um, what brings you yourself here today at Rhode Island Comic Con? Is it your first time here? It's my first time at the at this Comic Con, and it's been amazing. It was a great really? weekend. Yeah, that's amazing. And is it your first time in Rhode Island? Do you have any like history coming to Rhode Island ever no. throughout your career? Oh yeah, I've spent a lot of time here. I love this area. I think it's. It's beautiful. The people are fantastic, and I, like I said, at this this con has been great, and the people were really wonderful. I'm so glad I came. I, I hope to come back next year. That's amazing. And what has been your favorite thing about this entire? You've been here for the three day event. Yeah, I was here uh, Friday, Saturday, and today Sunday, and I don't know. I think it was really busy on Saturday. It was like a crush of people here, but um, so it was a little wild. But I think just talking to the fans, it's always the nicest and hearing stories from people, their individual stories about their uh, experiences watching the show and the films that I was in and um, getting to introduce them to uh, things that I'm doing now, like, you know, books and things and my organization, Sweet Blackberry. So that's been really nice. Okay. And talk to people about your organization. So that's what you're currently, one of the things you're currently doing. What's the entire intention and what's going on with the organization? It's called, the organization's called Sweet Blackberry, and the mission is to bring little known stories of black achievement to kids. And we do it through animated films, short animated films, and through picture books. And there are stories that you don't hear, that kids don't have access to most of the time, but really inspirational stories about real people in history, stories that risk being lost, but that teach kids what they are capable of and show them that obstacles are actually opportunities for greatness. I love that. And when it comes to your character, Hillary, what's your f one favorite thing about the legendary, legendary character that I think you played phenomenally? It's something that I think a lot of households can relate to when they see yourself. You're one of the, you know, figures in that show that people's like, wow, I am a, I am a Hillary or I know a Hillary in my family. What's your one favorite takeaway of this legendary character that you played of arguably the best show of all time oh that's really nice um well i think you know i think when i played her i had a lot of fun with her it was a, a very fun character to play and a, a real great commentary um because she was so full of herself and and so some of that was it was a lot, very humorous to me but i do i can say now looking back at her that i appreciate her kind of unapologetic um assertion you know she would get out there and like assert herself into any new situation and um, I don't say ambition because there kind of is a negative connotation to that but there was this assert like just really like throwing herself into new situations really pushing and putting herself out there with so much confidence and I always wished I had the kind of confidence that Hillary had but I admire her for it you have a favorite scene of all time a favorite scene I loved the episode. I mean, it was really fun to shoot. The episode in the first season when Hillary drops out of college and Carlton and Will find out and blackmail her. That was a particularly fun episode to shoot, partially because the audience reaction when they when they um, see Carlton turn on her as well as Will, the audience's reaction was priceless. They started stomping their feet in the stands. They were so happy to see her get hers. And so it was really funny trying to keep a straight face through that. Um, and also listening and going, wow, they really have it in for this character. It was, but it was fun, and we had such a good time shooting it, and the back and forth at the dinner table and everything was like really well played ping pong among the entire cast, and we just worked so well together that it was, you know, it was like it was like sports, like playing really well with a, a team that plays good together. Uh, I loved that about us, and that show was a really great example. Amazing. And one last question. What's your number one tip to any up-and-coming actor, actress, or just young creator that wants to become the next Karen Parsons or just have a successful career and they look up to you and they're like, how does she do it? I want to do that. What's your one key takeaway to give them? I'd say um, I know this is an era of a lot of people just wanting to be famous for fame's sake. Yeah. I think it's empty and I don't think it gives you anything. But I think if you really apply yourself to the thing you love, whether it's art or music or acting or, you know, building things or creating in any way, writing, anything. If you really apply yourself and you work your best at it and find the joy in it and follow your joy, not what other people tell you you should be doing, but follow your joy and work on it constantly and play constantly and stretch and grow, you will achieve what you want, but it won't be empty fame. 
it'll be a, a true success and achievement as you watch yourself grow and get better at it. I think that that's, and follow that joy and spark inside yourself. Don't, don't worry about what other people have to say. I love that. It's been an honor. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Karen. Enjoy your time, the rest of the time here in Rhode Island, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. They gonna love me for my ambition.